Hey kids, oh, welcome to a lesson two, multi-screen apps. Use console.log to test overlapping objects and the screen. There is two goals for this lesson. Practice inserting your own console.log statements and investigate how the screen captures events differently. It is different. Do this. Add console.log statements to each of the three event handlers. We started you out with some. How nice of them. Make the text that gets printed to be descriptive so you know exactly what is happening. Run the program and try clicking where the diagram at right shows. Click on each button, click where the buttons overlap, click on the screen or the background. Investigate until you can answer these questions. We have three of them. When can you click on a location where two objects are overlapping? Which events fire? When you click on a non-overlapping part of some object, what gets triggered? What does a click on the screen get triggered? Hmm, three interesting questions. Down here we have some code. And it looks like we are in our variables tab already. Let's go ahead and just add our console.log to these three events here. We want to find out what each do. So first I want to identify them. I'm going to rename them just as their event handler is. So green button in camel case is going to be green button. We have a purple button and we have just the screen. So this is going to let me output debugging to know what I'm clicking and where I'm clicking at. This is very helpful if you're designing an application, especially one that people are going to use. You have to know how uh, different way people click on things, handle different things. And ultimately, we've all had that one app where you keep tapping on the screen and nothing happens. And we don't want that to be you. Let's go ahead and hit run. And let's see what comes into my debug console. First thing I'm going to do is click on this green button right here. So it said green button and screen. Green button and screen again. Let's try the purple. Purple button and screen. Purple button and screen. So that says purple button and screen. And this one says green button and screen. So it seems when I click both of these, it's also picking up the screen. Let's try this little corner of this purple here. It's picking up the purple screen. So it looks like whatever image is in front is what's going to be clicked. Let's test this hypothesis. Let's go to design, click on that green box right there, and let's bring this all the way forward. Let's hit run and go back to our code, hit the green button. There you go, we get green screen. Let's click that same area we were. There you go, we're still getting a green button. Let's click on the purple just to make sure. Yep, purple, green. So it looks like whatever one's in front is going to be the one that is going to be called down here in our debug. Let's click on our screen just says screen. So I wonder why green button and screen pop up at the same time. Let's take a second and think about this. So I think why the screen keeps popping up is because we are clicking on the button and we are clicking on the screen. Let's test this hypothesis. Let's go to design. Let's add a new image. We'll make this just some simple icon. We can do just a happy face because we're learning. And let's go ahead and put that up there. I'm going to change the ID to smile. And I'm going to go back to my code. I'm going to add a, another event handler. 
outside of the other one and add another console. The ID on this is going to be smile. Whenever I click on smile, I want my log to say smile. If I'm right, when I click on this, smile and screen should pop up. Let's go ahead and hit run. Smile and screen did pop up. Let's check one more thing. Let's do a mouse over. Now instead of clicking, I'm just going to go over the mouse. Let's see if that changes what's outputted on my debug console. Let's hit reset run. Just smile. Click on the purple button. I get purple button and screen. Green button and screen. Go over smile. I just get smile. So it seems like screen is outputted because I am clicking on the screen. It makes logical sense to me. Let's go ahead and look at these three questions again. When you click on a location where two objects are overlapping, which events fire? Well, the one at the top is the one that fires. We learned that by switching which object was in the front, and the one in the front is always the one that we saw on our debug console. When you see a non-overlapping part of some object, what gets triggered? Well, that object. So whatever you click on there, that's what's going to be triggered. Remember, our images do have a padding around them usually, so you have to also take that into account. When does a click on the screen get triggered? Well, anytime the screen's clicked. Anytime you click a button on the screen, that'll be triggered. I think that answers our three questions. I think we learned a little something. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. They... Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next puzzle.